Stefan here from Stefan's Tech at the London Comic Con. Today we'll be going around and checking out the various booths, seeing what they've got. And, uh, let's get out on to the first uh, area. Alright, so I'm here with um, Mr. Lasers. Mr. Lasers. They got some amazing work here, you can see. We'll take some pictures and we'll throw them in the video as well. Um, just incredible detail. You do uh, see it from the laser. Um, so, uh, what kind of different uh, objects do you do? Uh, we, we do all kinds of materials like acrylic, glass, different plastics. We do woods. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We can do metal as well. So, yeah, it's, it's all CNC based. Hey, 
Wow, holy shit, mate, that was incredible. Here's a quick view of some of the booths here. Uh, quite a lot of comics. Um, looks like a lot of action figures there. Okay, and so here's another booth. Just full of different random uh, collectible stuff and such. Okay, and here we have Forta City Coins and the massive collection of comics. Probably one of the biggest booths full of comics I have seen here today. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, then you don't get kind of caught in the same thing. I yeah. guess it's, it's not a good business decision because you should have like a token style. Yeah, I definitely understand that myself. But like, it's, it's hard, you know, why yeah. not mix it up in between every season project? For sure. Alright, well, thank you very much. Make sure that you can make the description there. Yeah, uh, smiletravels.com. Alright, well, thank you very much. Right on, thanks for coming. Okay, and here we have a lot of Pokemon and other various stuffies. And there we have a Doctor Who. And more and more comics. Of course, because it's a Comic Con. And here we have quite a few incredible different Daleks. And Doctor Who set up. If you would like to have your pictures taken with the Dalek and hop in the TARDIS for first spin, we are taking donations to the Elf Foundation here in London. Of course, exterminate shall be. Alright, I'm here with the other Weasley. That's right. And we're at the Hill Center. We're at the Children's Hospital, more than Health Science Center. A good pause there. Make sure to check a link in the description below. We'll leave it there so you can uh, help donate. And, you know, I'll skip the pause. Um, so, what would you say um, the best of the you today? Uh, definitely Saturday is a lot more jam packed than uh, yesterday was. Yesterday we had a bunch of people, but like it wasn't insane. Today's pretty crazy. Like, we're like. We're working right now with like everyone walking around. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, with Paul Shatner here, I mean, that's all. Like, that's pretty much all we wanted. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's why I did that. Yeah, definitely want to go see him. But yeah, no, it's great cool to see all the costumes. It's great to see all the, you know, all the. One thing I like about cons is I'll come to a con and I'll see the same people that I saw last year. I have no idea who they are, but. It's good to see them again, you know? Like, yeah. It's like, hey, I know you from last year. You said hi to me last year. Yeah, that's what the cause is like myself. Oh, good job. Uh, guns on my side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the staff shirt and stuff. I was like, oh, and uh, oh, it's kind of sore. Yeah, it's a great honor to tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, uh, thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good night. All right, so we've got a quite a wide variety of drinking accessories, uh, glasses and flasks. We've got an amazing amount of different things here from Pokemon Go to Star Wars to they even have a Soviet one there if you're Red Alert fan like myself, um, and I uh, got the Triforce, all sorts of amazing stuff, quite the collection. Uh, next to that we got uh, some more stuffies and collectibles, and then we got the Hall of Names here with, uh, you know, embroidery, such stuff of your family surnames and weapons and all that. Wow, check this out everyone, they got the retro old school Power Rangers toys that I grew up with as a kid. I actually had this one here and they have the actual special edition. Uh, I think the colors faded but it's a black and gold version. I had that as well and I also had these ones. That is just incredible. I don't think I had that one. I always wanted it but my friend had it. I used to play with his and um, I had some of the actual action figures like these here. I had the ones that it opened up and it flip around and uh, they morphed basically. Uh, the head, you can see the head. So that is just amazing. I swear if I had the money I would definitely be buying these up. That is so cool. Wow. And, uh, and especially since today we have the original Pink Ranger here at the London Comic Con. We will see if we can get an interview, I don't know. We'll... Helping on it, oh, well, even more up here. Deluxe Battle Zord. 
Power Rangers Zero and the Power Rangers Turbo. Oh, no way, awesome. Here it is, I used to have this. Wow, $135. This is the kind of stuff that makes me so sad that I end up selling away these toys as I got older. If I held on to this stuff, you know, over the years, like how much some of it is worth now, it's just amazing. Awesome, I almost missed this. They got the freaking huge, massive Turtle Zord tour, the Shuttle Zord. And they got the Titanus. That is so cool. Wow. Okay, so we got some more awesome, interesting toys here to share with you from my childhood. Right here, we got some of the old original Ghostbuster, and the, actually, I think I have that one. And then we got the old original Ninja Turtles toys. We got April O'Neil. We got the Fugitoid. We got the Tyranitons, I think, and uh, some other characters I'm not familiar with. Uh, Splinter. That is incredible. Got uh, Terminator, Holy Quinn, Dragon Ball. Oh wow, Bucky O'Hare! That is so cool. I had some Bucky O'Hare too when I was younger, back in the 80s. Obviously, the N64. Oh, original Mortal Kombat toy, Raiden. It's like some other different interesting stuff here as well. If so I find more interesting all the toys here, I'll make sure to report and share them with you. And here we have the He-Man's Masters of the Universe, the Skeletor, and the old G.I. Joes. And here we have some uh, completing box, but uh, not all the greatest condition, but still. Original Super Nintendo games with the boxes, which are not so as uh, common to find. We've got uh, Mortal Kombat, Straight Fighter 2, some of my favorite games, Zelda, Link to the Past, uh, Terminator 2, I have that one, play that so much, I love that game, Wing Commander, the other Terminator, all the original uh, Adventures of Link, Zelda, for the regular Nintendo Entertainment System. Mortal Kombat 4 on PlayStation. The old original Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo. Not the arcade game one. Yeah, uh, one. Well, just some regular stuff here. Pokemon, Meowth. But uh, something rather interesting. Never seen this guy here before, but it's a um, thing Golem, right? I hope I got this Pokemon right. Can't believe I messed that up earlier. But check this out, you pull the string and it kind of vibrates and stuff and you press the button there, it's supposed to say stuff, but probably needs uh, batteries, but it's nonetheless pretty awesome. Geodude, Graveler, then Golem, right? So I'm pretty sure that one's a Golem. Just some other different random stuff. Oh, look at that, it's a Triaranosaurus Rex. Oh, it's coming after us. Oh, it's going to eat you. It's going to eat us. Oh, oh. All right. Uh, link there and a bunch of other different stuff. Uh, I run into something uh, specific. Oh, an AT. <laughs> oh, my God. An AT. Wow. That was crazy. Okay. An elf book. DuckTales, Ninja Turtles, some more old classics there. And oh wow, look and find Sonic the Hedgehog. Some interesting stuff. Check these out. It's an Optimus Prime Nerf gun. You can actually fit a Nerf dot right in there. Transforms. You put your arm in there, you can hold on to it. It's got a little trigger inside. Pow! That is amazing just been getting into the nerf as well lately so 
It's too bad I didn't have the money for that. I'd definitely buy that. Oh, wow, this is awesome. These are the X-Men, the Spider-Man toys, especially mainly the Spider-Man that I grew up with. These are, this was like the main one of the action figures that I used to have and collect when I was a child. Um, I had this one actually, and uh, the pin that comes with it. I didn't have uh, that one, but uh, my friend did. My friend had the Rhino. Wow, Blade. Got some uh, amazing figures. Phoenix, Jean Grey, Smythe. He was a, a very common character in the show. Oh, that's cool. I think I had that one as well. Um, there's a Peter Parker. Oh, the Craven. It's too bad they don't have more of uh, some of the ones that I had. But nonetheless, it's still cool to actually see the old original packages of these. Yeah, fond memories, that's for sure. Here they have some of the larger action figures. Over here they have uh, some of the older Batman. I also uh, had and collected some of those at one point as well. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I had that one. Um, yep. And that one I had for sure, the Hydro one. I also had an Arctic one. Um, yeah, I think I had that one. Not a hundred percent sure. Wow. Very, very awesome. Oh, no way. Spice Girls. That is crazy. Share a little uh, personal uh, factoid. I used to have a bit of a Crush on uh, Posh Spice back when I was a way lad, maybe 12. Dick Tracy, that's a classic. Gargoyles, I've actually followed that for a little bit as well. Didn't buy anything for it, just watch the show, you know. Spawn, I used to have some awesome, a uh, few awesome Spawn characters, but I think I got rid of them a while back. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the old school Batmobiles. Would, would be awesome to buy up one of these and make a computer mod. If you want to check out an awesome uh, Batmobile computer mod, check out JP Modified. He's made some really cool ones. I think two of them at least. We got some Transformers. The uh, I'm Not a Raccoon from Galaxy Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know who he is, but I remember that. Some uh, different Transformers, other toys. I think that uh, sums up most of the, uh, there we go, a bit more of the stuff down here. Uh, that's about uh, the rest of this booth, a little uh, WWE or WWF wrestling ring and um, yeah, alright, on to some other stuff. So they got uh, different varieties of interesting snack foods here at this booth, uh, as well as uh, there were some different mugs there, some Minecraft, Simpsons, some old school uh, collectibles up at the top, like the Thundercats and old original Transformers. Okay, well, I know they got someone on the microphone, might be hard to hear me, but anyway, this is just amazing. I have not seen something like this yet. This is a collection of many fags from Lego. We got so much. I'm just going to quickly go over all some of the different ones here so you can get a view of them. Jeep is my second best friend. I love myself the most. Thank you. 
Anyway, so coming up is William Chapel. That's a very exciting, uh, uh, it's going to be a very exciting Q&A. Um, but it's extremely, extremely important. This is no joke. If you are not wearing a media pass, do not have your cell phones out. Do not have your cameras out. No videos, no pictures. If you see anybody without a media pass, don't get to any part of this q &A. We will find you, we will believe you, and we are trying to document If you're with the media, you can only record for the first five minutes of the Q&A. After that, turn off your cameras. If you want to meet, put the chat room and talk to the people before the table with the girl and the opportunity to go But this is going to be a Q&A experience that will last in your memory, which as a, as a parent myself, your memory is much better and vivid than a phone or a video. So just remember, this is not a joke, and we take this very, very seriously. So please respect our rules. Is that okay? Here we have some acrylic light signs, are very cool. And oh, what is that? It's a Pokeball charger, just like mine. And that is awesome. Yeah. We've got a lot My of different night like stuff that. here. Yeah, yeah. Does she like Pokemon? Oh, she's going to love that. Before it starts, you are. So, of all things, check it out DX Racer Chairs. That's right. So all my tech viewers, this is what you are wanting to say. They got lots of different models set up here. Just awesome. So cool for me to be here and actually see some, you know, PC tech type related stuff. Leave uh, some links in the description below. Check them out. This is. All right, now um, here we got the setup for the Woodstock Custom Arcades. They've got quite the setup here. Um, they, they make these awesome custom arcade machines. I will leave a link as well for them in the description below.